Hi, I'm Cory, and I'm painting the hybrid Centurion for Descent Legends of the Dark. I'll be painting nearly everything in oil paint today, instead of acrylic, to try something a bit different. To start, I'm going to portion out some odorless white spirits, and using a damaged canvas as my palette, I'll set up some white, burnt sienna, yellow, cyan, and magenta. I'll be mixing a lot on the fly today, but that's half the fun of working with oil. First thing I'm going to do is base coat the figure using my shadow colors. I'll eventually wipe most of this away, but it'll provide a base for paint for me to easily blend into, in addition to getting most of my deepest shadows out of the way right off the bat. I'm thinning down these colors a little bit with white spirits, but I'm not really going overboard. It seems really thick, but keep in mind most of this is going to be wiped away. If you try this yourself, one thing that I'd probably recommend is don't be too precious with the way you're putting these colors down. When we wipe them away eventually, most of these are going to get kind of smushed around and they're not going to be exactly where we put them down. It's just a place to start from. Now, I don't want to start off on a negative note here, but there is one kind of major error I made in painting this model, and that was this yellow robe. Uh, I did a zenithal highlight where the recesses were dark uh, leading up to white, but the problem is, is even with oil paints, if you're painting over black with yellow, uh, you're just making everything harder. So if I had done this over, I probably would have primed everything gray. All right, so now that the base coat is complete, I'm basically going over everything with cheap dollar store makeup sponges just to get everything off that isn't in the recesses. It's going to leave paint behind on the surface, but much thinner. I waited a day or so to wipe this off, and that's why the paint is still looking quite vibrant and there's a lot of coverage. If you wanted to get almost all the paint off, except for that in the recesses, you could wipe it off right away, or you could add a bit of white spirits uh, to your palette and dab your sponge in it and wipe things off that way. This is where, if you've never painted with oil paints before, uh, you start to kind of see the appeal of using mostly oil paints or just oil paints. Anytime you add any paint at this point going forward, you don't really have to worry about creating a gradient like you would with acrylic paints because everything just kind of automatically blends into each other with oil paints. It really simplifies that process. And I actually find painting like this can be less precise, but it's a lot more fun and, in my opinion, a lot more satisfying to paint this way. So I'm not a fan of seeing the actual brush strokes on my models, so I go over some rougher areas with a very soft brush to lightly blend things together. It's important to use a soft hand because if you over blend oil paints, you'll often be left with a pile of mud. Whenever I'm highlighting, I have to decide if I should add white to a color to just increase its tone or brightness, or another color to alter its value. It's good to keep in mind that adding white will turn a color into a pastel, which may or may not be what you're looking to do.
here's a good example of me not wanting this flame to be a pastel. If I added white, it would look washed out with its highlights, so instead I add yellow to shift its value. A cool thing you can do with oil paint is to really dilute it with white spirits and watch it easily flow into gaps and recesses. I'm taking a bunch of watered down white paint and eventually I think I shift over to a yellow paint, but um, I just start dropping it into these cracks and crevices. And if I was working with acrylic, I would have to be glazing them in to get a transition that I was going for. But because it's oil, I can drop them in and then afterwards just take a brush and use that to smooth them out. At this point in the model, I kind of get to the stage where I start holding the model away from me, looking at it, rotating it, and just kind of seeing what looks off, what looks dull, and I just start going in, adding paint here and there, smoothing stuff, pushing things around. This is kind of the advantage to oil paint, is you can kind of fuss and muck about like this, um, and just kind of seamlessly blend things together. Uh, just on the fly without a lot of forethought like you would need to do with acrylic paints. We're at the final highlight stage now, and at this point we need to exercise a bit of self-control, keep a light touch, and barely drag our brush over the surfaces we're looking to highlight.
So here's the thing. Everything is a tool and not every tool is for every job. Some things can be done in oil but are much harder and object source lighting I find can be one of them. I could thoughtfully blend colors together on the model and create a believable gradient or you know, airbrush. <laughs> The green glow effect on the cloak is another thing that, yeah, you could absolutely do that in a while. And it probably even wouldn't be too bad. Or, you know, whip out the airbrush if you have one and spend five, seven seconds, something like that. And that being said, if you're an absolute pro at oils and that's the kind of thing that you're much more comfortable doing in oil, then, you know, have at it. But I like my airbrush, so <laughs> it's just my preference for doing these kind of final finishing touches. So this is kind of the last thing I wanted to talk about as far as limitations for oil painting goes. You can absolutely get some oil paints that are very vibrant. I find them um, a little less common and a little less used. Um, I wasn't really happy with the uh, lines here uh, when I did them before because they weren't very bright. Um, but I happen to have some very bright very easy to use inks on hand nearby. So when I was done everything, I grabbed my inks, I threw in some flow improver and I uh, painted them in that way. It wasn't really working out with the oils, so I switched to something else. I find for most things, oil paints work fine and I can hit that vibrancy that I'm looking for. But for some of the more extreme things, especially like fluorescence, uh, something that I maybe it's just me but I personally struggle with a lot okay so just a uh, matte varnish which is pretty essential with oil paints because if you haven't noticed they're very glossy and we're on to the glamour shots <laughs> 